In 2017, we ran one of the first trials of the EVE headsets on a BAM Nuttall site in Nine Elms. And that was when we were able to get our first feedback on how we could improve the system. After aging, noise exposure is the number one cause of hearing loss. In exploring how to prevent noise-induced hearing loss, we quickly learned that people working on construction sites very commonly would take off their hearing protection in order to communicate. So we thought, wouldn't it make sense then for the communication to actually be built in to the headset while also monitoring noise exposure? We've now spent the last two years with a new Innovate UK grant developing the next generation of the EVE headsets. They've done a lot of work on improving and refining the hardware so it's far more usable on a daily basis. That means improving the way it fits, improving the weight and the feel of the product. These are called the Focus Light. It's got microphones on both sides on the outside as well as on the inside. Now those microphones are measuring the noise level in the environment and what's reaching through to the ear. At the same time, each ear cup has a speaker on the inside. Now that allows the wearer to hear what's going on around them at a safe level. That means they can hear the situational awareness so that they can avoid interactions with plants and heavy equipment. We're on a site in East Croydon. This is a demolition project. And two weeks ago, we came here and we gave out the equipment that was gonna be trialed to the operatives and we told them how to use it. So we're installing 11 Bluetooth beacons all the way on the outside of the scaffolding. The headsets like I'm wearing are listening out for which beacon is it closest to. And that data that gets recorded with the noise level, the time of day and the beacon ID. And all that data gets uploaded to Peak, the noise measurement platform. Now this is a software platform that the functionality has been informed over the last couple of years by input from colleagues at Bam Nuttall. The platform actually allows people to see where noise is, what people are actually being exposed to, are they wearing their protection correctly, and importantly, what can be done about it to reduce the risk of exposure. The reaction from the operatives so far using the headsets on site is that they really appreciate the ability to hear their environment while still being protected. They're able to wear the hearing protection when they need to, while maintaining the ability to communicate with colleagues and hear heavy plant that's moving around them. Now that's really important for their long-term health and well-being. It suits us to work with startups and SMEs and partner with them over the long term so that the SMEs understand our industry and develop a product more intuitively for us. And we end up with a product that's better fit to our market and that gives us a competitive advantage as well as improving the safety and well-being of our staff. Mm -hmm.